Do you believe in magic? I know you do, and so do I. Wait till you get a load of this recipe for no-churn ice cream. It's one, two, three, four ingredients. Let me show you how to make it. One can of sweetened condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. This is the key ingredients, what's gonna make this dish. This one has a flip cap. You don't even need to use a can opener. Yay! Make sure you get all of it, every single drop. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Make sure you measure that not over the bowl, especially if your hands are a little shaky. I'm not saying mine are. And then two tablespoons of bourbon. If you don't like too much alcohol, you can cut it back a little bit, but I think the alcohol actually helps keep the ice cream soft and from forming ice crystals. Stir that baby together, and then all you have to do is whip some heavy cream. Two cups of heavy cream, lightly whipped. And it gets folded in, it's creamy and delicious. You're gonna love it. Two cup measure. <laughs> Just fill it to the top. It really helps if the cream is cold. It whips more easily, and you don't have to do it as long. Then just whip it. You actually want to start a little bit low, and then as it starts to become whipped cream, then you can raise the uh, speed. Otherwise, it flies all over the place. It's kind of like confectioner sugar in that way. And then just stand here. It might take three minutes. I don't think it's going to, but it might. That's what the recipe says. The thicker it gets, the higher the speed you can turn it to. It's a fine line between whipped cream and butter though, so be careful. All right, it's done. It's stiff peaks. You can see it's standing up like little peaks. That's what I mean by stiff peaks. Now the only thing that's left to do is fold the two together. Condensed milk, remember me? Give it one more stir to make sure it's still combined and fold. That's it. What do you think about that? I don't believe I've ever showed you folding before. You go down through the center and up around the sides and then just repeat, turning the bowl like an eighth of a turn each time until all of the whipped cream has combined in with the other mixture, but it isn't too homogenous. There might be a few streaks left. That's all I'm saying. Then it goes into a loaf pan and you freeze it for a few hours and then it's done. And you can serve it and it's so silky and delightful. You'll see. Just pour it in, cover it up with plastic, freeze it for six hours, and it will be transformed magically. Bad plastic wrapping, whatever. Put this in the freezer for about six hours or even up to overnight. It's time for the big reveal. It's solid, but soft. Exactly the texture that you want ice cream to be. So let's take a look and see what it looks like inside, shall we? You're gonna see that this is gonna scoop so easily because it's perfectly soft. Look how that scoops. And I don't even have ice water. It's like perfect ice cream scoop. And I have this pretty little dish. Looks like real ice cream, but there was no churning, no special equipment necessary. Couple of sprinkles. I'm not usually a sprinkle person, but I'm just in a festive, colorful mood today, so I'm gonna use some anyway. It's super easy, it takes literally no time to make. I think you're gonna love it, enjoy. Mm. It's so creamy.